don't want to drop anything else. Really nice little freckle. Sir? <laughs> everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're good, I hope you're well. Thank you, thank you. Because I'm literally tiptoeing, tiptoeing towards 500 subscribers and that means the world. Thank you so much if you have subscribed. If you haven't, then please do it down below. Take seconds, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. This week I'm gonna be showing you how to get that flawless, effortless airbrush skin but without it looking cakey this is going to be perfect for those nights out in the summer those days that you want the full coverage finish but without looking too heavy honestly guys these products are my holy grail i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to getting this flawless effortless skin let's get into this video okay i'm going to be looking a little bit weird we're doing my eyes for a tiktok so if you do actually want to know how to create this beautiful little eye look i am filming a tutorial currently so the key to a non cakey full coverage base is always the products you start with that probably sounds really straightforward but i'm telling you it's crucial the products i've been loving love love loving is the nivea soft moisturizer I literally apply it to every part of my body like it's just amazing we're gonna go really red like i always say you touch a ginger's face you best believe she'd be going red i'm moving on to a girl that i have fallen in love with recently and that is the elf mint melt primer that was a lot to say that was a lot to say i absolutely love this one it smells like mint so it makes you feel super fresh like i feel like it's like um just a summer scent two it, is, it goes tacky it makes the makeup stick to it i've never i've never really found a primer that i've been like wow like blown away by but this is just so so good so just press that into the skin then i'm gonna go in and add some coverage another product i've been loving again is the 16 hour elf cosmetics camo concealer it's a matte finish one it's massive like look at that it's huge and it is a full coverage concealer so i always take this on my blemishes prior to adding any coverage with foundation honestly it's also really white which is a shock if you're not pale you just won't get it like it's so hard to find a concealer that's lighter than your skin tone when you are the lightest chick in the market this is in the shade fair rose so it's got quite a little rosy undertone i've been also really liking the radiant one which is a little bit lighter for my under eyes moving on we're going to go in with the hollywood flawless filter obviously because if i'm not applying this don't want to drop anything else she's gone all the way across my bedroom why is she rolling away for? Honestly, for every makeup look, I use this product and I will never, ever stop loving this. Honestly, Charlotte Tilbury, I can't thank you enough for creating my holy grail. I just buffed this in with my Maura Lee um, foundation brush and it, this brush is amazing. It's perfect. You just appreciate that glowy kind of finish. My everyday, I literally just put flawless filter on and then powder, so you can stop here. But obviously, today, girls, we're all going for a full coverage look. I'm <sighs> borderline obsessed. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury could, should get a restraining order against me because I just, I, I'm in love with her. The next product we're gonna be using is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury again, once again. Honestly, this product, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that's gonna last, it's this one. I feel like suddenly everyone on TikTok has gone crazy for it and I can absolutely, I know why, because I've been loving this one for a while. You don't need much. I'm just gonna take that stippling brush. See, look at that. Look how far that product's gone and I've literally put two dots on my face and I haven't picked up anything more on the brush so just start buffing that in so the key to not getting a cakey base is to layer those products and not go in too heavy so they're all super super light in their own right but together give you that flawless airbrush finish I'm actually not working too much of the product underneath my eyes either because that's where the concealer is going to go so don't worry too much about your under eyes not looking smooth now we're gonna set that in a little bit so i'm gonna just go in with a damp beauty blender this is the real techniques and just kind of pat that into place so i'm not taking any product on this beauty blender i'm just making sure 
you've got that really really flawless blend just really press that sponge you're completely setting that foundation and it gets rid of any of those you know those streaks that you get with foundation brushes it just gets rid of that I'm just going to go in with a little bit more concealer to add a little bit more coverage around my blemishes which is always around my chin the world likes to bless me with a chin blemish like thank you thank you lord so thankful <laughs> trying this thing where I just start to be thankful for things that I don't like and then hope that they just disappear <laughs> Now for contouring, we're going to take the Morphe Dimension Effect Contour Stick in the shade Effect 12. Now, as I'm sure you've seen, well, I hope you've seen my TikTok, this is the dupe for Fenty's matchsticks and yeah just wow i find contour sticks the easiest to work with when contouring now i'm gonna add a little bit of blush you can add whatever color you want whatever cream blush you want right now but i'm gonna take the inner mascara this is the color veil blush in the shade consume this is very orangey i'm taking this because i'm doing like a bronzy orangey look but you could do a pink blush you could do literally whatever suits you hun you do it this blush is super super thick so i just dab like kind of a blush a brush and kind of dab that into the place where I don't want my blush I always put my blush really really high by doing that that adds shape to your face and lifts your face by adding that blush in work those two products together you're going to look a little bit crazy for the first few minutes but trust the process trust that process honestly like look at the difference that has made make sure if you've got your hair up that you work that into your hairline because honestly girls like you best believe that's my always my drama i take the side of the brush just down like this as i always say i always lay down all the cream products before i touch the powder i just find that really gets the dewiness and allows the dewiness to thrive before you lock that shit in because i love putting blush on my nose because it just gives that little sun kissed look you know what i mean now for my under eyes i'm going to take the camo concealer again but only a little bit here and then here and here like i said it's very full coverage so you don't need much i don't usually use a full coverage underneath my eyes but if we're going out we'd be going out do you know what i mean then a little trick i add a little bit of the flawless filter to it to make it a little bit creamier and a little bit lighter then i take my concealer brush by Maura Lee and just kind of press that concealer in the reason you do your concealer placement like this is to kind of give your eyes a lifted appearance can you just see because if you work it all in here that kind of makes your face droop down so you add your lightness to the inner and the outer so now you've done that this is the point where i'd always add my freckles back on because i absolutely love that kind of sun kiss look and my freckles get so easily hidden like girls can you just have a bit more of a backbone and stop hiding whenever i put makeup on please so i just take the freckle tint by lottie london and i just kind of you obviously you can just go wherever if you haven't got any freckles but i just kind of copy where my freckles are and this is another little trick especially when you're like doing a full coverage look to kind of get that naturalness back i don't know if naturalness is a word they're gonna look a little bit crazy but don't stress this product is honestly amazing for freckles really nice little freckle Sir, sir, can you not? How rude. Then now we've done that, I take the same brush that I use for contouring and just kind of blend them in to make them look a little bit more natural. Now time to powder. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got no lines where I'm gonna put the powder. The powder of choice, which is always my powder of choice, is gonna be the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Finish. Anyway, it's this chick over here. She's tiny. She's really small. Don't judge her. I got the small one. Wanted to try it. Fell in love. Want the big one for £35. Are we going to be doing that anytime soon? No. So I'm going to just take this. The reason why I love it is it's so finely milled and it just blends effortlessly onto your skin. Now I'm using a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, but an alternative, supposedly, I'm going to do a review on it, is supposed to be the Rimmel Stain Matte Powder. And actually, when I reflect on that time when I used to always wear that powder, it's very, very, very similar consistency. So I am going to do a bit of a dupe try. But I just work that powder brush into the powder, tap off the excess, and then you press, okay? Do not rub. You're just literally setting that makeup in place. My mum was just texting me. <laughs> My mum was just texting me saying, eat celery, helps bloating. <laughs> 
That's literally all she had to say. <laughs> wow, thanks for that fact today. I'm really impressed. Make sure you've got no lines underneath your eyes and then you're gonna just press that powder on. This powder is honestly amazing. Like, look at that. Look at that. She just be looking airbrushed. Is she a filter? No, she's real life. It's just amazing. I'm obsessed. Charlotte Tilbury, just work with me. I promise I'll be better. Then we're gonna move on to bronzing. I'm just gonna take my City Bronzer by Maybelline. I work the brush into that, and then I take the the lid side and kind of just. Well, that's never happened before. I've broken my powder. You know what? easier for me everything happens for a reason i'm just gonna work that into there and then work it into my hands as well to get kind of the excess powder off then i just go in and once again the same motions as what i was doing with the other powder is just pressing this is not really adding too much more product it's just locking that contour that that cream contour into place now for blush because we just can't get enough i'm gonna take the lives of peach by l'oreal mixed in with a little bit of the nars orgasm blush which she's stunning then taking that on a really big brush and just kind of working that upwards and then a little bit on the nose as well right i'm gonna jump off finish my eyes and then i'll be back right we've finished the eye i'm obsessed i want to wear it out where can we go it's a Monday afternoon, we ain't going nowhere. Now I'm gonna just set it a little bit. I'm just gonna protect my eyes because I've just worked so damn hard on these eyes. I'm gonna take the Morphe setting mist. Oh, I just love it, I love it. I'm gonna be taking for this one the MAC. Oh darling, extra dimension. Skin finish, love this highlighter. Just gonna take it on a little stippling brush. I do this while my setting spray is still wet to kind of make it cling to that base so there you have it that is the finished skin look honestly guys i'm obsessed it doesn't feel heavy it looks really smooth and it's all about that gradual application and building so i really hope you found that useful i really hope you like that video i love you all so so much let me know if you want to see more tutorials because i can achieve that i can do that for you we're best friends yeah we're gonna do it i love you all and i'll see you next week you're the best around. Look at me, I'm